Let's talk about the mission. How about that? Just we just start there. Let's yeah. talk. Okay, I'm gonna do it now. We're yes. gonna do it. Right. Here we go. All right. So we're gonna talk about the mission of the Christian Network Marketers community. So our mission is to do the hard stuff in response to this question: where is God in our network marketing business? And the premise overall is that everything about our spiritual lives and our business lives, they're completely intertwined. And so that's the question. That's what we want to look at and we want to explore kind of just as a community. So my name is Tasha and I am one of the founder. I need to think of a better title, I think. And then, and you are, who are you? Um, I'm Kim. You're Kim. And, and I, you're, you're the other founder. Yep. All right. Yeah, we have definitely got to think of cooler titles. Better, better names. Uh, so, Kim, why are we doing this? Why are you doing this? Yeah, why am I doing I, I know why I'm doing this. Um, I, I, it's really important to me to kind of, like, find God in what I'm doing. And I happen to have training, um, yeah, that kind of helps me answer that question in my life and, and hopefully in the lives of others. But then I also happen to have a network marketing business myself. And so these kind of two areas of my life really come together well in, in our mission and what we're trying to do. And yeah, I just want to see other people flourishing in their network marketing business and feel like they can let it be a spiritual act of worship as well. So that's for me. Why are, why are you doing this? Tasha? Why am I doing this? I don't know. Um, well, so I'm a sales trainer and a sales coach. And I have always kind of looked at my life and I'll, you know, there's a, we'll put a different video up about kind of how I got on this tr sales track. Um, but really looked at it as, you know, my job is to encourage people and lift them up. And that's how God called me to do this. And so when I started coaching network marketers as a non network marketer, the one theme that continued to show up over and over and over again was this like spiritual warfare. And so I would chat with people and they would talk about how much they doubted themselves and they would talk about all these lies and how they weren't good enough and how, I mean, just all of this, I can't say it other than just like this garbage, this like icky, evil deception that was going on that to me from the outside, and I don't mean this, you know, to be arrogant, but was very obviously like Satan attacking them and bringing them down because they could do so, so many amazing things. Mm -hmm. And as I started, you know, exploring that with people, it just became so real that there needs to be some sort of support spiritually because this network marketing business opens you up to so much, right? So if you think about, I don't know if this is the part, this was not the part where we were talking about the armor of God. I don't remember. Can I just do it? Yep. Okay. So if you think about the armor of God, right? Like you're, you're going in and you're, you want to glorify God. Well, because of all the things that network marketing kind of brings on, right? You have to balance your family. You have to figure out how to prioritize. There's like the allure of wealth. Then there's the pain of rejection. There's the fact that most people don't have the training and experience of the sales. And then you also have to be a sales leader and a sales manager, which that's like really hard to do. So it's really no wonder that it's so like, they, everyone's such, I guess, like a target, right? So why am I doing this is I want to just put those things, those pieces of armor back on people so that they can really live their purpose. Because when we're beating ourselves up, we are not glorifying God. Like we are not bringing him into the light where he needs to be. And, you know, as Christians, we need to be, I guess, better than that, than beaten up by you know, life as a network marketer. Totally. That's awesome. So we're going to explore a lot of things. So what are the things, Kim, that we're going to explore? Yeah. Um, well, my, yeah, my kind of heart for what we might explore is 
Like, how is God at work in our lives through our network marketing business? We know we're kind of always in the process of being sanctified, being made more like Christ. How can we engage in that process through our network marketing business? Like, what does God want to teach us about himself as we engage with, you know, people that we're meeting with, as we're pondering how to conduct our business, um, as we're praying about our business? Like, what? What does God want to show us of himself in that? Um, Yeah, so that's something that I want to kind of explore. And then, yeah, just the other thing of like, how do we learn to love well? I mean, there's a lot of things that we might explore, but I think I want to just look into our hearts. Like what's keeping us from, from loving others well? What are we encountering as we engage in this business that, um, yeah, that may hinder us from, loving God, loving others, or even like you were saying, Tasha, kind of having a right perspective of who we actually are. Like we're, we're the beloved of God. We're like loved by God in our core. So, um, yeah. What exploring some of the hindrances to those things too. So, yeah. Um, yeah. What, uh, from your perspective, Tasha, what kind of equipping, does a network marketer need? (laughs) So I think a lot of it, the first thing is really identity and um, you know, who are we in God and then who, how did he make us? Right. As opposed to beating ourselves up for things that we might not be like, how about we celebrate who God really did make us to be? I think that's really important. I think we need to learn how to do the things like God speaks a lot about business and earning and work. And I think a lot of the messages of the culture and what priorities should or should not look like, we need to look at what the Bible actually has to say about work and the value of it and what God thinks about work. And is it good or should we not be doing it as moms? Like where, what does that look like? And I really think that we just need to help everyone get better at the actual craft of the job. Um, Because if we're, you know, like, I I don't think, and I used this analogy earlier, I hope, I mean, it's pretty irreverent, but, um, you know, an incompetent surgeon does not glorify God, right? If they make the wrong cut, like, (laughs) you know, people don't say, oh my gosh, glory be to God for this thing. And not that that's exactly what we're doing, but, I think as business owners, our competence and our credibility and our trustworthiness and our skill is ultimately a reflection of of who we serve. So what I would love to be able to equip people with, you know, to really break it down would be, you know, how do you sell in line with God's values? How do you lead in line with God's values? Not like your company's values, not what you think makes sense and certainly not with our deceptive heart. Um, You know, how does God expect us to lead our teams and how does God expect us to run our business and how does he speak to that? So that's what I think. Um, So that's what we'll be equipping people with. And so Kim, what do you think or what do you hope that people will come away with after just even one interaction with the Christian network marketers community? Mm, totally totally I gosh I would love for people to feel like they are um a part of a larger community like other people who are like them who get them who have a similar a a similar kind of goal or mind frame to them like other believers that want to honor God with their business like I'm a part of something um Yeah. I I mean, if nothing else that, I think I'd also just love for them to feel encouraged and given a sense of hope, like, Oh, I can do this. Like, and I don't have to do it alone. I feel like, yeah, one of our greatest like um, results of the fall, even like at creation is like this feeling of separateness. And Mm -hmm. so if we can somehow bring people to a place where they feel like they're not alone um, and that they have support and yeah, and hope to accomplish the things that they find themselves in right now, then that would be, yeah, that would be awesome. 
So, yeah. yeah. I love it. Cool. So, shall we talk a little bit about like what this is, what we think this is going to look like? The nuts and the bolts? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Kim, what is your role? Oh, disclaimer. This is what it is today. Uh, <laughs> we're not really sure where God's going to lead this whole thing. So, when you watch this video, we're hoping it's similar to what we're talking about, but who knows, because God might have different plans. So we want to just put that out there. As of today, Kim, what is your role? Right. As of today. Um, yeah, as of today, I kind of like my heart and my energy goes towards the like spiritual development of, um, yeah, of this community. So devotion, devotional material, kind of my own process as a network marketer who loves God to like, what does it look like as I see myself and I engage with my own sin or this encourage, you know, encouraging passage that I read or whatever, kind of doing that, um, through blogs, but then also, um, yeah, wanting to create ways for us to engage through prayer with each other. Um, and we, Hopefully we'll get to do something live with that um, on a regular basis and yeah, trying to be, um, yeah, I guess I kind of feel like my role will be to hopefully get us like more engaged in that question of where is God um, specifically as it has to do with like our heart and our own formation as believers. So yeah. What about you, Tasha? What's cool. your role? Well, the way I always look at the way you and I are different is that you get to be good cop <laughs> and I get to be bad cop. Yes. So what, what bad cop is going to do is um, I also, I want to write from the outside perspective as the person who is looking to develop network marketers, right? So to point out where there is truth and where there are lies, but also ultimately to provide a forum where everyone can learn how to do all the things better, right? So the way we're looking at it right now is creating masterminds and discussions around what does it look like to biblically sell, lead, and run a business. Um, and really having discussions around that and then where it's applicable, you know, like the practical training aspects about, let's say, you know, we're talking about, you know, being transparent, right? What does that actually look like in words? Um, and how do you specifically communicate what you're trying to communicate to a customer or, or whatnot? So really bridging that gap from the theoretical of this is what God wants to what does that actually look like from a skill perspective, it would be part of it. So as of today, I think the plan is to create um, like mastermind groups. Yeah. So what the heck is a mastermind? A mastermind is a bunch of people getting together and putting all of our heads together and really tackling, you know, an issue at a time and, and learning from each other. Um, and then I would leave those and then also give some of that additional feedback as far as the actual skill development. Did I miss anything? I mean, sounds good so far. All right, cool. They, who knows? Micro. Yeah. Um, so as far as the nuts and bolts of the business, this is uh, not a nonprofit, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Just a regular old business. Can you chat a little bit about why we thought that was the right move just in case people want to know? Right. Yeah. Well, um, in kind of like a, and you can add to this too, but in kind of a practice, what we preach, I guess we're, we're talking about engaging in a business. We're talking about what it looks like to actually do a business in light of, yeah, scripture and what God has to say about it. And so we're going to be doing that too. We're, we're, yeah, all of us are kind of, yeah, called to work. This is our work. This is our, this is what we're passionate about. We're engaging in, yeah, this is, this is what we're engaging in is our work. Of course, this is also, um, yeah, it's really additional. Really it's totally fun. Right. It's like, yeah, what we're doing too. Yeah. Have fun and work too. But I don't know. What do you, what are your, 
Um, well, it's definitely the practice what we preach, right? I think it would be incongruent to look at scripture and assert that business is good, work is good, pay is good, and to run a nonprofit. I like that just to me doesn't align, right? Um, also, like we're not into fundraising, right? We want to provide value specifically to the user, not to run around and fundraise, right? We both have two small children. We both have our primary businesses, mm -hmm. and, you know, keep the lights on. So, um, you know, fundraising, I just don't think it's really part of the game. So we really want to provide services and products that truly bring value to, to the end user. And, um, you know, that's, that's how we're going to fund the business. And that's, that's how we're going to make this whole thing work. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. We want to also uh, support women around the world, right? Right. Yeah. That's on both of our hearts. You want to talk about that a little bit? Um, sure. Just, yeah. In brief, I think, yeah, Tasha and I both kind of found that we had this heart to help women, um, not just women that we know in our like same life circumstances, but that, um, yeah, empowering women even around the world. And there are organizations in place that do that. And um, yeah, we'd like to work alongside that so that what we have to offer here can actually be extended, you know, hopefully helping other women who otherwise may not, you know, have the capacity or the capabilities of doing um, their own business. So you can add more to that if you like. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that God has given us these gifts, right, that we can now bring to the marketplace, earn money to support, to obviously serve our community first and God, um, but then also serve our families, mm -hmm. right, with the time we are spending, not cuddling them right now, <laughs> and also, you know, serving God's purposes around the world um, and being able to give back, um, you know, to his kingdom. And that's, that's really important. Right. Yeah. Um, what else we got? You got anything else that you wanted to add in this mission? What the heck we're doing here video? Yeah, I, nothing really. I hope, yeah, I hope people kind of stick with it. I think we're both trying to be pretty attentive to where God is leading this and, um, yeah, people can pray for us if they, if they think of it and, yeah, we want to we'll honor God with this. So, Cool. Yeah. And I would like to add, if you're watching this, like, let's grab everybody. Let's bring everyone in. Um, we want, I don't know, I, like, I can't help, but just imagine this, like, amazing conference. Where should we have it? Like, someplace amazing. Ooh, right? Yeah, totally. Um. We live in Southern California, so that's tough, tough sell, because we have a pretty amazing setup here. Um, but like just an amazing, I, I just think about this room of women and some guys too, maybe in the future, we'll see. We'll that's see so where nice. that goes. Um, of just honoring and praising God. You know, I know Kim, ha you have visions for conferences and such, mm -hmm. but like just to grab all those people around you that are in your business that, you know, that do believe and bring them in, right? Because our community is as strong as, you know, you are as you're, as you're watching this, right? So, um, you know, let's grab some people. Like I know one of the things that Kim wants to do eventually is form small groups. Like how crazy, how cool would that be to across the entire world to have network marketers engaging in, you know, honoring God in their business and really having those conversations and like bringing people to Christ because of how beautiful their business is, not because it's like perfect, but because of how it honors God. And so like, I just think that that's such a cool ministry, our own businesses and how we interact with so many people. So I guess bring people in and let's like shine our light outward. Love it. it Love it. All right. Shall we end there? Let's do it.
All right, cool. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs>